Hi, it's Jill again with Crick Flex. I told you earlier today I was going to try and get Barney done, and I decided to do it real quick and call it a day today. My kids, all my kids and grandkids and, and friends are all coming over for corned beef and cabbage, Hap Patties, St. Patty's Day. None of us are Irish, but it's always a good excuse to have cabbage or corned beef and cabbage. Anyway, um, somebody asked me to do Barney. I did the SVG. Um, he is 12 inches tall. And let me put this side together. Um, if For those of you that maybe aren't used to using the um, scales, these Barney would be a good starting one. Um, when you do the simpler, uh, not quite so much detail characters or uh, objects, that gun's out of tape. Grab another one. Anyway, uh, this was a good one because he doesn't have a lot of uh, odd cuts to try and do. So he's relatively easy to do. And I don't think I'm going to be adding any extras to him. The person that asked me about Barney was looking for something just pretty simple and authentic to the character. The only thing that I am going to do just for you guys is to show you um, how you could just dress him up a little bit with a birthday sign hanging around his neck. And again, this is probably one of the easiest ones that I've ever done. Um, I was just telling somebody one of the reasons it looks so easy is when you do these and you do them a lot, it get, does get easier and easier. Um, so I don't want to make it sound like the very first time you do it, it's easy because it might not be. It is just that I'm used to it. I remember getting so frustrated when I first started doing them that I wanted to throw them out. And this one I did use the what did I do with it? Oh, it's on my scanner. I did use the color book page, and the first time that I just tried to upload it um, with just the color book page, it had a lot of broken lines, so he didn't he didn't um, break up the way that he should when you do your break apart and your scales. He didn't break apart um, because the lines weren't solid like I thought they were. So what I did is I went back and. Um, took the picture, printed it out, and then I drew around him. I, I just took my pen and just traced around all the lines so that they would be solid and not broke apart. It Because it was real pixelated, so you can't do that. So I just, again, I just took the fine tip of my zig and drew around it to break the parts up. Very, very, very simple to do. His eyes, I didn't cut out the black, because I've told you before, I, I think that that is... Um, a pain to when you get these small pieces they tear so what I did is just took the fat end of my two-way zig pen and colored the eyes in and I left instead of drawing the dot on it when I did my circles I just didn't color the whole thing I left a little white showing to get the little limb in his eye and then I'm going to put on his toes here in yellow I'm going to glue him together, and I'm missing a toe. That's not the right one. Here it is right here. And you know, I get all these little pieces floating around, and this one doesn't look quite rounded. So the only thing is, is I'm going to go back on this particular cut. And um, when I have round circles or ovals, rather than me try to draw them, I go into the shapes library of the scales and grab the shapes so that they're perfect and use those in place. On this particular one, I didn't do that. Again, um, I'm gonna go back and perfect it. I was just showing how to do it. My dog, I am so sorry, but I have, everybody's over and I've got my door shut and my dog isn't liking that so well. So, put this together and Let's see. That food smells so good. I don't know if I'm going to be able to last until it's done. 
And let's see here. I think I'll put one through here, and I think I will put one there. There we go. Again, um, I probably shouldn't just put the glue on there. I just guess at the size of the stick. Again, I've done so many of them. I know how long things are, how, how they are, and I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. And... I'm going to put some glue on here. Had my grandkids last night and we took them out to dinner and came back to play some games and go hot tubbing. And um, my little two year old grandson, not quite two, his, his party's next, or his birthday's next month, but uh, almost two, loves to go hot tubbing loves to go hot tubbing but i didn't have any swim diapers here so i put on um his sister's bottom of one of her swimsuits um it was it was rather comical and cute i think i'm gonna use them i don't know if i want to add color a different color you know what i think i'm gonna add a different color um anyway i decided to use my granddaughter swimsuit and not use a swim diaper. Uh, as cute as that was, um, he was jumping up and down and landing on his butt on one of the sitting areas in the hot tub, which was just adorable. And of course, Nama thought it was the cutest thing ever until I saw something shoot out the sides of his diaper. Well, without saying much more, I can de you about imagine what it was. And boy, I'll tell you what, I've never cleared out the or cleared out of the hot tub that fast ever. Um, my, my granddaughter, oh, it was pretty cute. It was pretty humorous. My four-year-old granddaughter kept asking, why'd you do that, Will? Why'd you do that? Will thought it was pretty funny, but that was just a little story for you today. I thought it was pretty cute. Well, I don't know if I call it cute. It was pretty funny. That's so when anybody, asked, I always asked everybody, why would you put a swim diaper on them? Who cares? Just put them in a swimsuit or whatever. Well, at least with the diaper, it would have confined it. Uh, swimsuit didn't hold it um, too well. So now I've learned why you use swim diapers. They didn't even exist when my kids were babies. Alrighty, I'm going to take and add my little sign there. And then I'm going to take my baker's twine and go around and bring it around to the other side. And I don't want to clip this off too short because I want to be able to tie my knot that I want to glue down and I want my knot again I make this all I, I know I make this look easy um, because I don't measure anything and when you get used to doing them you don't really have to and to me it's quicker just to eyeball it and there's one string holding his little sign around his neck oh there we go oh sorry about that gone I guess other people are arriving. I am so sorry for the background noise today. But it is what it is. If I'm going to do the filming, it's going to have to be sometimes when people are here and sometimes when they're not. Um, I've got a lot of traffic going on at my house pretty much of the time. I've been blessed with my kids all living very, very close to home, so it's a hop, skip, and a jump for them to come over. I have a feeling that that uh, the grandkids might be here. So when I'm done with this, this will probably be it for today, unless they unless they want to come up and do some crafting while the adults watch whatever it is they're watching, some sort of sports. I want to say football, but I don't think football is going on anymore. But what do I know? I don't watch sports. And I do babble. There we go. There we go. I have the banner around his neck now. Again, the only reason I've added that is he's, I think Barney's really, really simple. Um, his toe fell off. And I do it strictly to add um, some color and just some more detail. Because I'm not real, I mean, he would not be... Um, one of my 
favorite things just because I, I like all the detail and all the commotion going on and Barney doesn't have much but he is very 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 popular and there we go um, I hope you enjoyed I'm not gonna do any more today this is it have a great day bye bye